Киев Телефильм Компани. Without You. Episode 11. Did they find her body? No. Looks like we don't even get to bury her. Well, all in God's hands. Life goes on. I didn't think you'd care so much. You haven't seen her for ages. Listen, son. You can't bring Katya back. Your wife is in the hospital. Your mother is worried sick. You should call them, or better yet, go see them. Not today. Son. You have to bear responsibility for your family. What do you mean by family? What do I mean? You, Nadia. Let's be honest about it. Nadia and I have nothing in common. You can't abandon her in this situation. I know that, but not today, okay? Finally. Where have you been? I did some shopping. Here. I hope the size is right. Oh, you bought me a wig? It's not bad, either. A disguise needs to be high quality. Even Lucia will not recognize you in this. I see you've thought about everything. I've been buying clothes for you since you were a kid. They said on the news that there was an explosion and fire at Zubov's factory. Do you know something about it? No, I haven't heard about it. I've bought you a new phone, too. I think it was you. What if it was? Moreover, it's just a beginning. Revenge, Kitty Cat, is a complex thing, and in Zubov's case, we need to fire from all weapons. Don't you mind all those innocent victims? Excuse me? It's a war. I don't like all this, Godfather. She doesn't like it. All right. Let's hear your plan. Do you have one? No, I don't have a plan. I didn't think about it. Well, I have. A lot. I can still see that puddle of blood and Foxy's teddy in it. If you think it didn't torture me all these years, think again. My personal hell has always been with me. That horrible day is carved in my mind. You're not the only one whose family was taken away by Zubov. He took away my closest friends, too. Mikola and Olha were the only ones who loved and accepted me. Godfather, I feel your pain. But I don't think that would approve setting the factory on fire. What do you suggest? Just kill Zubov? We aren't going to kill him. We need to destroy him from inside. Hit where he's hurt the most. His social status, his money, his ego, the public opinion. I mean, kill him spiritually. I think it will hurt him more than physical death. Well, sounds interesting. We could try that. Where shall we start? I want to record your confession and video. Hello. A confession from beyond the veil? I am officially dead, remember? Godfather, you don't need to come back from the death for that. We'll say you had recorded it before you died. Please, Godfather, please. It's very important for me. Vasil, wait. It must be a mistake. What do you mean she died? When? No, I didn't know. I've been meaning to call her, but family problems. Yes. Thank you for telling me. 
Let me know if there are news. Olesa, are you coming to dinner? Olesa. Olesa, what's wrong? Vasil has called. Vasil? The guy from work who likes you? Clara is dead. Her car fell down from a precipice. They don't know if it was a malfunction or something else. I am very sorry. I had an impression you two had become good friends. Roman, it's so awful. You leave and then in one moment, you're gone. Clara had so many plans. She wanted to start over, you know? Don't cry. I don't want to even think that she did it because of the warrant on her arrest. Could she be so desperate? Why didn't she call me? I would have helped her. Because? Because desperation gives bad advice. Well, goddaughter, shall we relieve the good old times? Do you have everything? Yes, don't worry. We'll play it by the book. It was a good idea about the ghost. It may not work on Zubov, but his family will be terrified, which will affect him too. I don't understand your logic. I have ironclad logic. If you want to hurt a person, hurt their family. I don't see enthusiasm in your eyes. Are you nervous? Don't tell me you lost your skills after working with the cops. I wish I could. It's in my subconscious. Here, take this. What for? I'm not going to kill anyone. In case you get caught and Zubov decides to kill you, take it. I don't like it. Don't worry, kitty cat. There's no way back. We can do it. We'll be fine. Here. Let's go. I heard that your factory is screwed up bad. Are you ignoring me? Mom, leave Alexa alone. I didn't say anything wrong. I just heard that all banks have denied him a loan. Alexa, Alexa. Dear Evgenia, does it please you to mock my misfortune? Mock you? Not at all. My father-in-law was right to ignore you. One can't love a viper. Alexa, boor, and you let him do it. Mom, he insults me and you do nothing. Leave Alexa alone. Don't you see how bad he feels? Leave Alexa alone. Your Alexa has always been a priority for you, and we're just an afterthought. Mom, you are wrong. Wrong? No. I'm right. Roman, why are they fighting all the time? Never mind them. They'll make up. To make up, you need to have a normal relationship first. Grandma and Dad have always been at war. Darling, are you yes, here? Yes, yes, I'm here. Don't take it too close to heart. Mom will be Mom. I'll talk to her about it. Don't. Don't talk to anyone. Your mother will never accept me or understand me. Lisa, I've been trying to be a good son-in-law all my life, but it's impossible. My mother-in-law won't accept me even if I turn inside out. I don't want them to kill each other. I don't want my family to fall apart. What can we do? They're adults. 
Roman, ask Grandma to help Dad out, please. It means a lot to him. I don't think he can fix it on his own. He really needs his family support, especially financial one. What? You won't do it? Even for me? Olesia, this is unfair to me. You know I don't interfere with Mom's business. We both know that the corporation is yours and Gran is just running it for you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't change anything. My mom and I had a deal. If I interfere, she will step down immediately, and I don't want to go back to my old life. I'm sorry, but... Okay, forget it. At least I tried. Betrayal at work. Betrayal at home. Everything will come out just fine, you'll see. Wait, I don't get it. What betrayal do you mean? The investigation's findings say that someone intentionally carried the explosives inside the factory. What? Who would want to do that? Alexa, do you have enemies? Lisa, how can you be so naive? Of course I do. Everyone who is involved in this business or politics does. I'm involved in both. So, what are you planning to do? I'll wait for the official report and then try to confront the insurance people. But you need to find the person who brought the explosives. My people are already on it. I'd also like to know who this genius was. Okay, it's time. Wait, wait, wait. Let them fall asleep. Listen, maybe... Godfather, no. We aren't killing anyone. I don't want to be like him. I want him to regret my parents' death till the end of his life. We'll send him to prison for life, and every day will be hell for him. You're such a naive idealist. Even if we manage to convict him, which I doubt, prison will be like vacations for him. Money solves a lot of problems. Take me for one. When Zubov needed me to settle something for him, he'd bribe the right people and they'd let me out. I didn't even have to pick a single lock in prison. Cash was the magic lockpick opening any door. I'll take care of this too. Now we'll follow our plan. Playing on his nerves to force him to start making mistakes. We'll be there and we'll take advantage. Okay, enough chit-chat. Let's go.
Alexa, what's wrong? Everything's fine. Go back to sleep. I was seeing things. It was the last bank we could turn to for a loan. Alice, they won't give to us without mortgage. There is nothing I can mortgage. Even this house is in Roman's name. How are things with the insurance? Not too good either. You refused to pay for a full insurance, remember? It was too expensive. So find someone at the insurance company who has no principles and wants money. Let them backdate a full-size policy. What? Mr. Zubo, why do you need this? Relax. I'm not going to hang myself. <laughs> Here, eat something. You don't want to have stomach problems again. Look at this. Muppet Show Live. The old woman is losing her mind. It's my dear mother-in-law. Look at his face when he sees the news. I'll get her hanged in this. What's going on? Alexa, what are you? Alexa, darling, why? Liz, are you kidding me? You're a smart woman. I'm not going to hang myself. I'm still standing. Who put it up there? You should ask your mommy about that. Mom? No, mom wouldn't. Besides, she couldn't get up there. What? It was here when I came in. Allah, don't be upset. You can go. Everything is fine. Relax. Have some tea for your nurse. Thank you. Alexa, if it wasn't Allah or you, who put it there? I'll ask the security. And if I don't get a good answer... <laughs> God, that was precious. You can watch it later. Eat while it's hot. Speaking about video, we need to record your confession today. I hate this shitty porridge. This shit is good for your stomach. Don't try to change the subject. Well, and I felt so good after watching this. Okay, bring your phone or whatever you're going to film it with. Yes, my phone. We need to find a background that won't give away the location. But admit it. It was beautiful. Hi. Hello. Where did you go yesterday? I had to lie to the bosses for you. I said you had a dentist appointment. Play along if you have to. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Any news about Clara? No. The current is strong there. I talked to the divers. They believe the body was carried to the bridge. And the depth there... We need to restore her ID. I want to bury her under her real name. What do you mean? Clara's real name was Katya Zharinova. Our parents were good friends. Zharinova? It rings the bell. Wait, was she the daughter of Mikola Zharinov, the legendary detective who specialized in Sirius? Yes, that's him. Katya was his daughter. What a twist. Now I see why Clara asked me for Zharinov's cases from our digital database. Do you have copies? Yes. Shall I bring them? I'd appreciate it. Listen, are you going to reopen her father's case? If memory serves, he and his family were killed. Yes, I am. I want to finish what Katya had started, to celebrate her memory. Memory, memory. Well, doctor, am I fine now? Will you finally discharge me? 
Yes and no. What do you mean by that? I don't get it. We were able to stop the bleeding, but you're a womp. What about it? Your abortion was a rather crude job. You're mistaken. I didn't have an abortion. I had a miscarriage. Call it whatever you want, but after this miscarriage, you won't be able to have children. Come on. I'm young and healthy. Why wouldn't I be able to have kids? Thank you. Hi, Ella. Where are you going? To visit my sons in jail where your Clara had put them. But never mind. God is no fool. He settled my accounts with this bitch and took her away. Ella, what are you talking about? What do you mean took away? So you don't know. Your Clara drove her car into a river. The bitch deserved it. Ella, what do you mean? Why would she do it? Why? So what does the report say? What can it say? It was obvious from the beginning that it had been a setup. Who was the bastard who brought in the explosives? How did they do it? We have a top-notch security system. If I didn't know that the ghost was dead, I would have thought it was him. It cannot be. I know that. What I don't know is where to find the money. My mother-in-law wouldn't help. When it rains, it pours. Why is it happening to me? Maybe it's a good idea to join hands with the Ziranovs. Remember you said Victor was a good match for Alessia? Sergei, once and for all, I don't sell my daughter. Money comes and goes, and family stays. I can survive losing the money, but not my daughter's respect. That's why we should target his family. Preferably hit them hard. If we destroy them, he'll take his own life. We can destroy them literally, physically. I'm sure he won't survive his daughter's death. Godfather, don't even think about hurting Alessia. She is my friend. Kids should not pay their parents' bills. It was Zubo who killed my family. We'll follow the plan. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Keep your pants on. Okay, stand there. Bro, I fully support your decision to go away. Have you decided on the place? There are some options. Roman, you are doing the right thing. Nothing would come out of it, even at the best circumstances. Your fight with Olesa would imminently harm our family. I don't know what to say. What if we didn't fight? Have you even considered it? Can you believe it? I ran a regular investigation to find out who had brought the rope to that study. And? And nothing. Nothing on the security video, no traces in the house. If I believed in supernatural things, I'd have thought it was a ghost. Baby, what is this nonsense? Ghosts don't exist. Do you mind if I lie down? I have a headache. Of course, Mom. Have some rest. Lisa, shall I bring you your meds? No, thanks. I have it here. Thank you. Don't worry, he'll be right with you. Thanks. Your visitor. Lucia, hi. I thought you were still in hospital. Hi, they had discharged me today. I already know about Clara. 
You probably won't believe me, but she was like daughter to me, even though I was a shitty mother. My condolences. Same to you. Clara got attached to you. Her eyes were shining when she was talking about you. I never saw her like that. I'm sorry to change the subject, but I was told you wanted to talk. What about? Clara. Or rather, the murder of her family. Do you know who did it? I know who ordered them killed. Grigory witnessed the murder, Clara's godfather. He spilled it out to me once when he got drunk. Who was it? My benefactor. The man who paid for my surgery. Oleksa Zubov. What? Zubov? It's a small world, isn't it? Oleksa, what was this photo doing in our bedroom? Who are those people and why is our daughter with them? Is it them? Yes. But they are dead. They died a long time ago. You mean a ghost did it? This is nonsense. A ghost? There are no ghosts. There is an idiotic prankster and a hole in our security system. Never mind. Don't take it close to the hut. I'll deal with this prankster. Where did they get this picture? <clears throat> when I approached the house, I saw Zubov's jeep parked at the side. I knew the car well because I worked for his father-in-law, Adamovsky. I realized nothing good would wait for me inside, so... I entered the front yard and peeked into the window. I saw... a teddy bear lying in a pool of blood. I had given the toy to Foxy myself. Mikula was next to it, with a hole in his chest. And all her too, she was covered in blood. Give me a sec. Zubov was also there, with two of his butchers, Zaitsev and Tartarov. I had known them before that. They were morons. As far as I know, one of them was killed later and the other died of cancer. There is some higher justice after all. I think this will do. Well... I didn't think the memories will hurt so much. I hope we'll feel better when we revenge your parents. Why didn't you take revenge then? Why wait 20 years? Why not go to the police or kill him? You had been working for Zubov all this time. Is he mortal? I didn't work for Zubov. I worked for Adamovsky. You have no idea how dangerous he was. Well, now you know from the video. Zubov was his henchman, trying to prove to him that he was a worthy match for his daughter. And then? After Adamovsky's death? Then, I was waiting. Waiting for a favorable moment. And it came. I promise, he will pay us for everything, in full. So? You want me to press charges against a prominent person, a respected politician, and the governor's friend, based on some drunken bullshit? Do I look like a kamikaze to you? Igor Valentinovich, the fact that Zubov is a renowned man doesn't make him immune to criminal prosecution. Are you going to teach me law? You think I don't know it? 
We have a report and a witness statement which allows to start a preliminary investigation. Trubetskoy, don't waste your time. Deny the petitioner. Have it in mind that you don't have much choice. Either you write a refusal to initiate criminal proceedings or a notice of resignation. That's all. Off you go. Yes, sir. Well, will they press charges against him? Probably not. The boss won't give permission. He is afraid of Zubov. That's not how Clara described you. Lucy, wait. Don't jump to conclusions about me. Here is what we'll do. We'll involve the prosecutor's office, the regional authorities, and the press. Such cocktail will give my boss a permanent headache. He'll sign whatever we need. Well? Shall we start? Let's fly. I don't believe in ghosts. I just don't. The only ghost I've ever known is dead. And so is his niece, or whoever this Clara was. He's... dead. Isn't he, Sergei? Have no doubts, boss. The guys I sent to him know what they do. And the check? Also dead? We were lucky with that one. Meaning? Either she freaked out when a warrant was issued for her arrest and drove her car into the river, or just lost control of the car anyway, she's dead. Well, at least there is that. Find out how Zharinov's family pick got into my bedroom. I'll do everything possible, Mr. Zubov. So do it! Yes, it's done. I've persuaded him that you're dead. I sent you the files you asked for. I couldn't do it sooner, it wasn't easy. Good job. I hope it will pay off soon. Okay. Talk to you later. What did he say? Everything is under control. How long have you known him? Can we trust him? You can trust no one in this world, Kitty Cat. I've told you this many times, but Sergei is a smart guy. We've been working together since Adamovsky's time. Look up my email. He was supposed to mail me some pictures. Why is he helping you? He is helping himself, not me. Zubov has been treating him as a doormat. No man would like it. So he is ambitious, and you take advantage of it. It's not just that. Loyalty needs to be paid for well, and Zubov is stingy. But I'm not. I've been giving Sergei a share of every payment I had got. Gradually, I won his loyalty. Are you sure he won't betray you? I don't think he will. We are linked too closely to go against each other. Have you got the mail? Yes. Wow. 
wait. Is this Alessia's grandma? Sergei, you're the man. He finally got his hands on her gigolo's phone. These family pics will definitely finish Zubov. His political career will be over. Who wants a politician whose mother-in-law is a porn star? Even if it's home porn. Nadia? 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 What's wrong? Do you hear me? Did someone hurt you? No. No one. I hurt myself. Dmitro, I think I'm losing my mind. That's enough. You need professional help, and this time you won't get out of it. I'm not crazy. No one says you are, Nadia. Just admit it for a second that you might suffer hormone imbalance, and that's what freaks you out. The doctor will give you pills, and you'll be all right. My father knows a good neuropathologist. No. No, I'm not going to a neuropathologist. I'm not that sick. I'm not crazy to go to doctors like that. I... I panicked. That all. This panic attack will repeat itself. Say, when you're on stage. Wouldn't it be easier to deal with it and forget about it? What are you up to? You spooked me. I'm studying our security system trying to find out how they get in. It's interesting. Leave it to the police. Who do you think I am? You can take a girl out of the investigations, but not the investigations out of the girl. Rita. Don't you want to talk to your Rita? She isn't mine. Yeah, sure. Alessia, listen. Rita. Now, this is interesting. Hi, Rita. Do you want to talk to Roman? Hey. Uh-huh. What did you say? What? No, it must be a mistake. What is it? Wait. Which website? Thanks. Oh, God. Do you think Gran knows? Um... <laughs> I'm not sure. I wish I could watch Zubov's face when he sees them online. His mother-in-law is a firecracker. Actually, I feel sorry for her as a person. Oh, Clarita. You're such a smart girl, but shitty at being an Avenger. We had it all figured out. First, Zubov loses money, then political career, then his family. What do you mean his family? We had a deal. You aren't killing anyone. Our goal is destroying him morally and have him convicted. Did I say it wasn't? It was a figure of speech. I know your figures of speech, and I know you too well. We'll follow the plan. Easy, easy, relax. But mind it, you're very wrong. Unlike you, Zubov has no scruples. And this home-born star was Adamovsky's wife. Do you think she didn't know what her husband was doing? She did, and she put up with it. And you're worried about her honor. Granny, Mom, don't be so upset. They've already taken the pictures down. Roman asked his computer guys. Such a disgrace. Such a disgrace. Mom, Olesa is right. Stop torturing yourself. It could happen to anyone. All kinds of pictures can show up online. I will find out who did it and file a report. There is no need to do anything. Everyone has seen everything. How could I let it happen? I'm such an idiot. Thank you, Mother. Alexa. Thank you a lot. Congratulations, you're a star now. 
please. Hot Eugenie, or whatever they call you now. What? Do you realize that your being naughty has nipped my campaign in the bud? Alexa, please don't twist the knife. Mom feels bad enough as it is. How do you think I feel? I've just lost thousands of votes because my voters stick to traditional family values and this 18-plus Muppet show. Alexa. I'm not a candidate with a perfect family anymore. Dad, stop it. Grandma feels bad enough without you being here. Go. This is a girls' only event. Baby, what? Did I say something wrong? He's right. Everything he said was true. I'm such an idiot. How could I trust the jiggle of that? I wanted true love, you see? Oh, God. Mom, relax. You're not the first one to get into this trap. I have disgraced you all. We don't care about those pictures. I'm proud of my grandmother. She's actually in great shape. Thank you for your support, baby. Thank you too, Lisa. The worst part is that I felt deep in my heart that this wouldn't end well, that Georgi was lying to me. But I wanted true love so much. I wanted real feelings and not cold mind. I'm... I'm so stupid. Don't say that, Mom. My dear girls, we love you so much. How can I go on now? How many stupid questions do you have left? I told you, I'm fine. I'm not crazy. I don't know why my husband brought me here. Nadia, you said it yourself. Lately, you've had some problems in communicating with people. So what? It's their fault, not mine. I see. I'm afraid a mere sedative will not get you out of this state. I think I'll start you on mild psychotropic drugs. They can be mixed with alcohol. I give you a minimum dosage. This will return your nervous system to its basic settings, so that you could assess the reality without feeling overwhelmed with emotions. Here, it's not expensive. You know, if something overwhelms me, it's you. As I said, I'm not crazy. I don't need your pills. Take them yourself. This is crazy. Let's go. So soon? Yes. It's stuffy here. What did the doctor say? She said I was doing great. Let's go. Dmitro, can I talk to you for a minute? Of course. How is she? As I thought, your wife is seriously depressed. The baby's death took its toll. You said she had problems at work, too. Yes, they gave all her roles to another dancer. Yes, that's too bad. She feels unwanted, out of her element. She needs your attention and care right now. My advice is persuade her to take the pills. I wrote it all down. It will help her get out of her depression quicker and easier. Thank you. One more thing. The best treatment for her now is your patience and love. You shouldn't leave her alone. Someone has to be with her all the times. So that she didn't get any... dangerous ideas. All right. Thank you. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. When is your flight? God, you scared me. I didn't see you coming. I learned it from you. So when are you leaving? Tonight. I decided to pack now. To get it off my mind. Roman, aren't you ashamed to abandon your family in their time of need? Believe me, I have my reasons. I might have reasons for you to stay. What are they? Here. Don't. What? Why? But you... Don't. I have already told you. I was mistaken. I was confused about my feelings. 
I'm sorry. I think it'll be better if I go right now. Just don't go, okay? I won't. Close your eyes. The doctor said you needed more rest. Why do I feel so bad? What's wrong with me? Everything will be fine. Lots of people go through this. They just don't talk about it. I'm depressed, aren't I? Yes, it's quite serious, but it'll pass. You'll see. Okay. I'll have some sleep. Stay here with me. Okay, go to sleep. Don't leave me. I will stay here. Godfather, I'm home. Clarita, you make a shitty Avenger. You're too soft. Don't worry, I'll finish what we've started. Zubov will pay for everything he'd done. Oh shit, has he dumped me? Shit. What are you up to? Well, has the traitor left? Yes, I think it's for the best. Best for whom? For everyone. Mom, why do you want so much for Roman to be away from me? Baby, you have to understand. I think you two are confused about your feelings. You mistook friendship for something bigger. It's Roman's fault too. I asked him to back off so many times. Wait, you mean you knew about his feelings for me? And you or guest? What does it matter? I thought it would pass and he would stop complicating our lives. Mom, why do you say that? What if it's mutual? What if it's real? Baby, don't be mad at me, but you had real feelings for Danilo, too. That was different. If I knew Roman and I weren't related by blood, I wouldn't want any Danilas. Godfather, damn it. No, what shall I say? Watch out, my godfather is out to get you. That's crazy. Hi, Dad. Are you still up? Yes, son. We're, we're just going to bed. Ask him about Nadia. Your mom wants to know how Nadia is. Good. They were at the doctor's. Good. Huh? How are you doing? You can't talk in front of me, can you? Yes, I'm alone. Tell me what's going on. Lucia came to see me today, Katya's aunt. She gave a statement against Zubov. According to her, he killed the Zharinov on Adamovsky's orders. Chief refuses to press charges, though. He's scared for his career. Zubov is friends with the governor. Besides, her statement is hearsay, you know. Lucia didn't witness the murders. She only knows about them from Grigori. I need evidence, facts. Dad, you were going to press charges against Adamovsky. Do you have any documents left? By the way, why didn't you open the case before? For the same reason. 
Adamovsky has always had friends in high places. After Mikola's murder, the Adamovsky case was swept under the rug. I tried to go on with the investigation, and that's why they fired me. Sam, be careful, okay? Zubov is a powerful man. What do you want me to do? Let him get away with the murder of Katya's family? I must have him convicted. For her sake, at least. I understand. All right, I'll see what I can do, but... I don't give any promises. Thanks, Dad. I'll be waiting for the update. Good night, my dear. Come to the cabin, alone. I have news on the ghost. Come to the cabin, alone. 